going on guys we are back at it with another vlog we are not in Iwakuni right now we're actually just drove into Himeji we took the expressway which was about a little over 6,500 yen one way I know we have to take that back so definitely keep that in mind if you are coming out here I decided to take this trip because one they have extra days off the kids don't have school on Monday so we decided to come out here and explore and Liberty policies have kind of changed up a bit they are giving us a little bit more leniency, which is so, so nice. So now we're actually allowed to uh, be in green zone areas, which is not just like our surrounding prefectures. Every other prefecture in Japan is open to us, except the bigger cities, which include like Tokyo, Kyoto, Fukuoka, and ride the Shin, buses airplanes we can travel pretty much through those routes as well on top of that they're letting us stay at hotels airbnbs overnight so that's another big thing so it definitely makes traveling and going out to other prefectures that are you know a few hours away or more worth it and you're not having to kind of rush back and you know it gets it gets messy we're here we're stoked we're so, um, excited. yes the kids are excited we got up pretty early to come out here and we're gonna go check out the area. So let's go do that. Finished up with lunch. Udon noodles were so, so, so delicious and they were literally making them fresh in the kitchen. Like you could see them. Such a short walk from the castle. It's literally on that main strip. Highly recommend. And the prices were not bad either. It was like 700, 750 yen for a bowl of udon noodles. <laughs> We're going to tour the Himeji Castle and the garden. We bought the duo ticket together, which equaled out to 1050 per adult and like 380 yen for elementary school kids. So not bad at all. Himeji Castle is also known as the White Huron Castle and it is a super popular castle to visit because of the size and how amazing the complex grounds still remain today. What's pretty cool about this castle is it is actually on the National Treasure and World Heritage Site and it's also one of the country's 12 original castles. Another fun fact about the castle is you might have seen it in a movie. It was actually in James Bond's uh, 1967 classic, You Only Live Twice, and it was the ninja training school. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Just finished walking the castle and holy crap, that was like 
a workout. <laughs> we ended up climbing like six flights of stairs pretty much. There's like six stories. Climbed up to the top, got to see a really, really pretty view of the city and check it out. But yeah, it's so crazy how old like these castles are and how much of like good condition they are. Even though like some of them have been like rebuilt because of like, you know, weather or being burned down and whatnot, but still amazing condition. Before we got to go in the actual castle, we had to take our shoes off and walk the wooden floors. Everything is literally just like made out of wood in there. It's really, really cool to see. And it goes a little yeah. something like Another castle checked off the list. We're gonna go ahead and check out the garden now and see what that's all about. We have another vending machine. See, which one do you want? I want this one. Hold on. Okay, I, 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 okay I which one? This one, this one, this, this one. one. Okay, this one? Mm -hmm. this. Got it? Grab a bias. Thank you, man. Thank you, Thank you, babe, you want to share one? Best sure. Ever. Which one do you want, babe? Strawberry. There's samurai's here. They look like statues, but they move. They're pretty cool, huh? They mm move. -hmm. How's your ice cream? Good. Just enjoying the ice cream, sitting around. Feels nice out here. Now we are at the Coco Inn Garden. It is a super short walk from the castle. Yeah. stores didn't really find anything much Jesse found a rain jacket and a jacket for the kid but nothing really really worth worth buying not not a good thrift day we are gonna go get something to eat we're hungry sushi sounds nice right now earlier today after we left the magic castle and the garden we ended up checking into our hotel which was actually super close to the uh castle it was like what maybe a mile or so away so not bad at all it's in the downtown area small japanese hotel i'll definitely show you guys when we get back to the room what are you most excited about right now <laughs> oh they've got the demon slayer you eat a certain amount of sushi um some demon slayer stuff comes out of here which the kids are obsessed with that anime This thing's broken. <laughs> we finally won! We finally won! We finally won! Oh wait, look. What is it? What'd you get? What'd you get? You got Shinobu? That's what you're gonna be for Halloween. That's what mine's gonna be for Halloween. Shinobu. Got dessert. Ooh. Well, here's ours in honor of Demon Slayer. Look at that. You guys, look at the Himeji Castle at night. It's so pretty. All lit up. Here is the hotel that we're staying at. We ended up parking our car in this parking garage which is literally a diagonal from the hotel I think it's like a thousand yen or 1500 yen a night versus the parking right next to it that's like 1200 yen an hour which is insane why are the elevators so tiny in Japan because everyone's in little the main base, like twice the size of I know it this. is small it's just literally just <laughs> this it just fits us <laughs> all right so here's our home for tonight so we have just two beds smushed together which is cool little desk tv over here 
window, and then the door, mirror, and right here is the bathroom. Just your basics first, an overnight stay, so I can't complain. It looks pretty nice. We get a little the day and Japanese style toilet, which is cool. And you actually get to, you know, wash your bum if you want to. So who's taking advantage of that? Huh? <laughs>